Hello. I'm Simeon Skylights. You may remember me as the man who sat on top of a pole for 37 years. I've since retired from that post to this comfy chair. But let's not talk about me. Today, we're here to talk about Rome. Rome was founded around 753 BC. It was surrounded by mountains and water. Lots of water. It began as a quaint little village, one house or two. But as the population began to multiply, the numbers of houses kept growing and growing. Some people, the plebeians, could afford rich, lavish mansions. The rest of us weren't so lucky. Early Rome was run by gangsters, thugs, and politicians. The people of Rome decided they needed some rules. They set up 12 tables governing how their city would be run. One of these involved yelling at your neighbor's house. Yoo-hoo! John! John! Woo! John! You owe me money! You owe me money, John! What are you coming out? Can't hide in there forever! You owe me money, John! John! Who the hell is John? I have no idea. Just ignore him. He goes away after a while. Rome was eventually sacked by the Gauls. Feeling a need to be bigger to protect itself, Rome reached out and tried to take Carthage. In defense, Carthage sent its greatest general ever. Hannibal! A genius. He decided to do something that never had been done before. He decided to take Elephants across the barren Alps. Oh, it's cold. I don't care. Elephants aren't supposed to talk, damn it. <laughs> cold. I'm wet. I want to go home. I haven't had anything to eat. Well, one day I was just thinking to myself, hmm. Elephants across the Alps. Yes. Yes, that's a good idea. Elephants, huh? You know, they don't do well in these type of weather conditions. Crap. So, what are you going to do now? Well, the only logical thing to do. Go back and get more elephants. You're going to go all the way back? I... I don't see any other option at this time, do you? After Hannibal's defeat, Rome enjoyed quite a bit of power. They set the stage for Julius Caesar. He was a nice man, brilliant general, uh, great to the uh, poor people. Rich people didn't like him too much. Uh, that was probably evidenced by the 37 times they stabbed him. Anyway, he left all his money to a young man named Octavius, who was a poor bloke, but about to have his luck changed. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Using his dead uncle's funds, Octavian quickly took over Rome. Eventually, he chased his enemy, Mark Antony, to Egypt, where he had a very interesting encounter. Um, Mr. Antony, mm -hmm. the Queen of Egypt would like to present you with something. Marvelous. Bring it to me. <laughs> <laughs> God, you've gotten fat. <laughs> My God. You know, I kind of felt that since no one tried it in the book before, I'd surprise them. And it, I guess it just didn't go as well as I planned because, you know, Someone messed up, and, well, I kind of got angry, and I would like to apologize. Okay, let me 
let me summarize. Despite the overwhelming odds, the two fell in love. Eventually, Octavian chased them to the desert. Mark Antony killed himself. Cleopatra did the same. Moving on. And from the far corner of the Roman Empire came a man that would not only change Rome, but the world. Yeah, that's right. But you can't do that. Look, just, even wiggles. I'm so amazed, Jesus. Can you do anything else? Well, I can do a couple of things. For example, he took a glass of water and turned it into... Vitamin water. That's right. This has water and oranges in it. Uh, Jesus, we already have something like that. It's called orange juice. Crap. Well... You know, this is called energy. Does orange juice give you energy? That's yeah. Right. <laughs> How's it going? Bring it in. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm going to perform a miracle on you. Oh, good. So here, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to make you see. Uh, but, but uh, Jesus, I, 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 I found a machine. No, no, I, I've done this plenty I, of times. I, I swear <laughs> that I'm going to be like, I'm going to win! You're welcome. The young man from this clip overcame his blindness. He went on to later make a killing in the music business. Since Jesus wouldn't show the Romans the secret to his powers, the Romans did the only thing they could do. They strung out to a cross. A little help? Uh, Please? Uh, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of stuck up here. Anyone? There's like plenty of you. No, don't run away. God dang it. Well, at least you're here. Can you help? Oh, Jesus. We're so proud of you up there. We really are happy that you're doing this for us. Would you be a good sport? Take it all. All right. Goodbye. No. Not much happened in Rome after this. It did convert to Christianity, separated in two empires actually, kind of attacked a couple of times by barbarians, a little fascinating, but after that, fell apart, burned, sacked, and was destroyed. Like I said, not much happened. And that concludes today's special.